The Israeli army says it has captured the parliament and other government institutions run by Hamas in the Gaza city. Fierce battles are raging on the streets of Gaza as we speak as the Hamas gunmen fight back the Israeli forces. On the other hand, rocket fire from Gaza continues to target southern Israel. Two people were wounded in a missile strike in Ashkelon. The death toll of IDF soldiers killed in the Gaza ground operation has gone up to 46. Israel also claims to have captured the governor's house in Gaza that housed Hamas offices for its military wing and police. Officers of Hamas's intelligence division and other sites that were used to prepare for the October 7th attack. The idea also captured a Gaza University's engineering faculty building that it says served as an institute for the production and even development of weapons. Early in the day, amid mounting criticism for carrying out attacks on Gaza hospitals, Israel's army released a video it claims to show an Israeli soldier inside a captured Gaza hospital. The soldier shows a discarded baby bottle, a makeshift toilet and bullet-scarred motorbike as evidence to claim that Hamas held hostages in the basement of a children's hospital in Gaza. The Al-Shifa hospital was caught in the intense fighting between Israel and Hamas. The basement of the hospital. I want you to understand, this kind of gear is a gear for a major fight in this motorcycle. Yachts from here. We find the chair, a woman, clothes, and a rope. A rope next to the legs, above it. It's a baby bottle. It's a baby bottle in a basement. You need to build something improvisedly in a hospital in the basement. Unless you want to hold someone in the basement, and we see, I don't know, maybe something. We see diapers. We can see the ventilation air that was done improvisedly to this area. This list, in Arabic, in Arabic, this list says, we are in operation. We All is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.